In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, use our templates from photoboothtemplates.com in the uh, darkroom booth uh, version 1.5 I'll be using for this video. So the first thing you want to do um, is uh, to make sure that you actually have darkroom booth. I'm just using a trial here. Uh, let me get that started. And then you want to download your uh, templates from uh, the link that you're provided via the email or via my account on our website. Um, I've already done so with a couple designs. Um, so then you want to uh, extract the given uh, template that you're going to work with. We'll do that here real quick. And inside you'll find that there's a, uh, a one folder and one file. Now we're going to need to install these into Darkroom Booth's X Drive. This is why I started up Darkroom Booth to begin with. So I've actually got a link here, but if we do go into um, my computer, you'll see there's a new local X Drive. I just create a shortcut on my desktop. We want to go into Booth Templates, and then we want to come into our unzip files here. I'm going to drag and drop that contents into here. And what this does is it gives uh, Darkroom some config files and um, it gets a default set of uh, graphics overlay and background. Now in our uh, templates, a lot of the uh, techniques that we use for uh, font dressing, um, for color adjustments on various design elements uh, do require you still to use Photoshop or Photoshop elements. Um, we've got a series of videos on our YouTube channel that you can uh, see to uh, see how to quickly be able to get around in those. Um, they're really set up to really not require much uh, Photoshop knowledge at all. Um, but for this, we'll, we'll at least want to um, open the README. README file kind of gives you a little bit of information about the template. But the key thing that we're going to be looking at here is the fonts used. We list all of our custom fonts here. And you can click these links and go install the uh, given font from wherever uh, the designer downloaded it from. This is important as to when you open up um, the uh, design inside of uh, Darkroom Boost Designer, not use Photoshop, then um, you'll be able to uh, at least use the same fonts and get to a similar um, type of uh, layout. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, open this up. We're going to click edit and we'll have our uh, layout here we've already got our photo spots predefined for us and we want to come in after you've read the terms and are familiar with them you'll want to go ahead and uh, delete that layer and after that um, as I said uh, all of our t templates they do come with the uh, the text layers in place in the Photoshop files they do not come with them inside of darkroom due to some uh, incompatibilities we've had um, but what you can do is come in and use the uh, exact same font that we used inside the template based on what you found in the readme.html file and uh, recreate those uh, text areas.